Hey what is up guys Johnny here, in today's video we look at the brand new legendary auto rifle in Shadowgun Legends Project Ambra. Uh, there was only one legendary auto rifle before the update, it was the Nico Stopper and it was a huge thing because it was very hard to get, it was only available in the Blade Dancer dungeon and you had to do a lot, I've been farming for 5 weeks before I finally got the Nico Stopper. Project Ambra was released a couple days ago. It drops in the Hive Mine dungeon and it's another auto rifle. We weren't sure it was gonna be maybe uh, a burst rifle because there was no burst rifle in the game before the update. So still looking for a burst rifle. There's none in the game right now, but instead we got a second auto rifle. The Ambra or Project Ambra. It is looking beautiful. A lot of people really like this thing. Uh, blue and yellow the iron sight is pretty good you don't see it in the gameplay here because i don't have uh, extra iron sight damage so there's no use uh the one thing that i really don't like about project ambra is there's only 24 bullets in the clip that is very annoying if you play arena it just feels like you're always reloading and the reloading animation is pretty slow i guess uh it, it feels awkward to use before Nico Stopper came out, my favorite auto rifle was the Fire Fist rifle. Fire Fist weapons are looking awesome and it was pretty powerful. It felt like it dealt a lot of damage per bullet. And I remember the first time I got Nico and I used it straight after I got it, it felt really like it was underperforming. I did not like the, the Nico Stopper at first because I didn't unlock the perks. Nico Stopper got a lot of damage perks. So it's the same thing with Project Ambra. Now that I just got it and I use it at, as is, uh, no perks unlock. It feels very weak compared to what I used to play with. The 10% damage perk is really gonna help when it's unlocked. I cannot wait to unlock it. But right now it doesn't feel like it's dealing enough damage and you have to reload all the time. It's super slow. It feels slow. So let's take a look at the stats first. Okay, so this is Project Ambra. The stats 131 on the damage, 400 on the fire rate, 1.2 accuracy, uh, 15 meters range, and 24 bullets in the clip. That's what I told you. So this, this is so low that you almost have to wear some extra... Uh, auto rifle clips on your on your gear if you can find it because you will see how annoying it is to be reloading all the time first thing i want to compare it with is the uh the auto rifle i was using before nico it is the uh, fire fist spewer it was one of the best rifle in the game before the legendary rifle um <clears throat> i want to check the damage first 130.7 131.2 okay it's just it is like 0.5 difference and i'm pretty sure because now the fire fist got uh lower to 249 uh the rifles get damaged with the the power levels so i think the 250 fire fist pure was probably the exact same 131.2 i cannot remember i'm sure i can find some older footage if not it was maybe better than project Embra in the damage next you have to check the fire rate because fire fist got more it's got 20 more uh, bullets per minute so 400 to 420 so basically fire fist is pretty much a better project ambra it's got higher fire rate with the same damage and it's got 34 bullets instead of 24 that's a whole 10 more bullets that you can shoot before you have to reload so the damage output and the fire rate is is faster so you deal a lot more damage per second the thing though is gonna be the perks again as always it's always coming down to the perks. And if you check the Fire Fist perks, it's got Iron Sight, Fire Rate, Accuracy, and Damage to Elites. Damage to Elites is 8%, you don't see it. But Damage to Elites is good in Arena for sure if you do a lot of PvE dungeons and stuff. The yellow enemies and stuff, they, they take more damage, okay? And even more Fire Rate, so it shoots even faster. But let's check the perks on the uh, Project Ambra. And that's what I talked about earlier. It is going to get a 6% extra fire rate and that's the only fire rate perk so it's not going to get faster than that so 400 plus 6% so that's 24 more 424 but still the fire fist pure uh, with 420 will still shoot more because it's got an extra 8% so project Embraer is slower 
and it's, it deals pretty much the same damage. However, I want you guys to look at the fifth perk. It is a 10% uh, 10 extra damage. So 10% of 131 is going to be another 13. So 144, something like that. It is going to make a difference. 10% is a big 10%, right? And it's got some iron sight damage, another 4%. If you guys use iron sight, like I said, the iron sight on the Ambra is very nice, clear blue. Uh, the rest is uh, damage to elite, 7% at the bottom. And again, no crit, guys. That's pretty much it. Fire rate, double accuracy, 10% damage, and some elite damage, another 7%. And the magazine cap at the bottom, but what? 7% of 24 is not going to be another 10 bullets like the Fire Fist, right? So it is good. It is, it's It's going to make it better, but still it doesn't have crit. And if you compare to Nico, Nico got all the damage perks. So let's look at it right here. You see the Nico? One red number is the damage. Nico deals a bit less damage everything else 440 on the fire rate nico is a beast it shoots a lot of bullets and it's got more in the clip it's got 30 on the base stats it's got a better range and much better accuracy the perks extra damage i said extra damage to elites extra fire rate and a big 14 percent crit at the end so personally i really feel like nico is better it feels better when you use it so I played with both and I feel Nico's better. It's personal. I always say it's personal. Some guys like a slower fire rate with more damage per bullet. But again, the problem is the uh, magazine size and the Embra does not have crit. So it's annoying for me, I think. But it feels like um, we all have our own opinion and a lot of people on the Facebook group seem to think or feel like Project Embra is better than Nico. There was a post today. Someone said, now that we have two auto rifles, do you think that Nico is still the best? And all the comments below was like, Embra is better, Embra is, is the best, Embra is much better. And a very few comments were against uh, Project Embra in favor of Nico. I did post and I said, I just feel like it's uh, the clip size a bit small. And one more guy says, Embra is the best looking rifle so and and even that i'm not even sure if i agree i thought nico is freaking awesome with the blue electric tape all around um it is personal guys and overall there's so many weapons in the game and it's not about the aesthetics of course there's so many nice looking weapons in this game and if you want to do a contest um, I don't think any weapon in this game can be the a-hole killer. I don't know if you guys saw that in the shop. Damn, this thing is awesome. Best looking weapon in the game for sure. So, if you put the aesthetics aside, it comes down to, to the feel. Like how comfortable you are using this weapon. And the more you play with a weapon, you get used to it. You get used to the timing and when you're gonna have to reload and how much bullets you need to kill this and that enemy it's about the feel and some weapons they just feel awkward because you're used to something else but going back to project embra it's still too early for me because i remember like i said when i start using nico it felt weak and i didn't like it and now that i played a bit more with it i really really like it Ambra, I'm going to keep playing with it for a couple weeks. I really want to unlock the 10% damage perk. It is going to make Ambra much more powerful. So guys, 1, 2, 3, it's like 45,000 fame you need to gain to unlock these uh, perk 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to leave you guys with some arena gameplay. That is the uh, iron side I was telling you about. It is super clear. I really, really like this thing also. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have the Project Embra? If you have it, how you like it, how you deal with the low uh, magazine size. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, watch my other videos. I'll be back soon. Take care. Yeah, it's called a uh, uh, is that emergency shield. If you guys don't know, it's in the survival tree. It's pretty cool. It's just the ribbons are not working uh, right now, like ribbons and medals I think are not working.
be messed up about that. Oh, great job, great job. Oh, I think we got either disconnected guys the enemies are frozen I hope not hope we're fine look the spiders are all frozen Follow. It was spinning. I wanted to. He's dead, right? Shit, the lag. Great spot. Yeah, you don't scare 
Good job, good job, good job. 